I'm ready. Damn right. Well, Scott has a plan, and that's why he is uh, teaming up and doing all these things that don't seem normal for Scott to do. Um, so he's always a control freak. He, he wants everything to be normal and safe. And he, has and he has the power and can control it. He will do everything in his ability and power to um, make everything safe in his eyes. You know. So we will always be trying to make things okay. Given that the show has been renewed for another season, what's your biggest fear going into an even bigger season with a bigger episode or the popularity of the show? Uh, I think it's fear. There's no fear. I, I mean, now that it's shooting in LA, um, I guess my only concern for shooting 24 episodes would be to shoot it in Atlanta because I'd be there for like a year and a year away from my friends and family and my dog, it would just suck. So now that that's out of the picture, everything is awesome. And I cannot wait to start shooting. So, no fear. No fear at all. This season really feels like a superhero origin story. Scott, so do you kind of look at Scott as like, he could become kind of like a superhero? Yeah, no, that's, that's definitely what this uh, season is kind of about. And hopefully the rest of Scott's seasons. Um, he is kind of like a superhero origin story. And hopefully the rest of Scott's seasons. He, like I said, he has, the, he has power, he can control now, he wants to use it for good. Um, so it's definitely a hero, superhero aspect, um, and uh, he just really likes to help people. And that's basically what a superhero is, right? <laughs> Making people feel good, and they're really powerful. So maybe I'm a superhero. You gotta make your costume now, that's about it. <laughs> yeah, what, what would it be? <laughs> A lot of skin tight stuff. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. How'd you know? Are you psychic? Yeah, oh kind my of. Gosh, you're super here too. <laughs> Easy. Uh, when you open a script, what is the thing you most want to see in that script? Is it like a fight scene or a funny scene or a makeout scene? Um, jeez, man. I don't know. I, I, what excites you? I guess uh, fight scenes are really cool because they're a lot of fun to shoot. Um, Funny scenes with Dylan or anyone else, mostly with Dylan. If I have a really funny scene with Dylan, I'll be like, all right, cool. I can't wait to do that. But then I'm also very intimidated because he's a lot funnier than I am. And he's the coolest dude ever, so. Uh, I don't know. I just, I'm, 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 not, I'm not expecting anything when I pick up a script because I'm like, more shocked and surprised by what happens. Um, I actually get really emotional sometimes. Like during the last two scripts, I was reading, I was like, Jesus, man, this is, this is so good. And maybe it was because it was coming to an end, I don't know. But, um, yeah, uh, I just like to go at it with no expectations, I guess. Yeah. I'm probably going to ask this to all the cast members, but in our last season, we, the last episode, we saw the reference to The Breakfast Club. Yeah. Um, when you read the script, is that something that came to mind, or do you now see it? No, it, it wasn't actually. Um, I didn't, I didn't come to mind at all. I don't know why. But like we were watching the episode, and someone was like, hey, Breakfast Club. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so it... it, it it didn't dawn on me until I was actually watching it. So, uh, and I love that movie. I have the poster in my my, my, uh, my room. So, I'm a uh, big fan of that movie. So it's really cool. I wonder who I am. I, was, that's I want to be the Bender. Next question: Who would you fit? <laughs> I want to be Bender. Because yeah. he's awesome and the stoner. It's <laughs> 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 a meeting. <laughs> in the episode that aired yesterday that they showed, it seemed like Allison is pretty much dead set on not having a relationship with Scott anymore, but he doesn't really know about. So what's coming up for them? The rest of the Sorry, Allison's what? It seems like Allison, when she said goodbye and they said they're going to date other people, it seemed like she meant it like for good without him knowing. So what's coming up for them now? That doesn't really happen most recently. Um. It's hard and it's a very mature decision because um, they love each other and they can't be with each other. So I think it's a very mature and adult decision to make. A uh, hard one. Um, so they're always going to be in love and they're, they're going to be uh, like right next to each other all the time because of their situations. Um, so they'll have to either overcome their feelings for each other and realize what's more important at this moment or uh, just start making out. <laughs> which, which is cool both ways so. <laughs> would you like to see another girl introduced into Scott's yes <laughs> just joking uh, yeah sure why not the more the merrier right um, that would be cool like when, when we were first talking about the second season Jeff the writer and the creator of the show 
would say, uh, yeah, there's a new werewolf girl coming in. I'd be like, nice, dude. But she didn't get with me, of course. So, or hasn't yet. <laughs> uh, just, you know, I'm not throwing any spoilers out there. I'm just trying to confuse you guys. Um, some of your best scenes are with like the authority figure characters, like Caraborn and then yeah. especially Mrs. Arden, who I love. Uh, do, are you like actually as intimidated by them in real life as you are? I know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Edie, who plays Miss Argent, is the sweetest and cutest person I could ever ever explain. I can't even. I, have, I don't know. How to, I, I, did, I have no idea how to explain how awesome she is. Um, but she is a little intimidating, you know? It's the stare, the eyes. JR is not intimidating at all. He, he's lost all that intimidation for me. He has the softest facial hair. <laughs> and the soft, the, the soft, because I touch his face all the time. Oh, I'm always just like, oh my god, dude, we have a really good relationship. And uh, they're all just the coolest people ever, so it's impossible to be intimidated by them. Um, but they do a very good job on screen. They're, they're amazing actors. Wonderful actors. Great. I don't like the word amazing. <laughs> I don't know why. Finally, who do you think is more dangerous right now, Lydia or Jackson? Ooh! Good question. Jackson, I think, because he's, he's out of control. But he's in control. Right now. He's under control. Yeah. <laughs> he's out of control and under control. So, uh, Jackson definitely. Lydia's just sad and scared. I feel bad for her. But she gets badass. Yeah. So, That's good to hear. Yes. Mm -hmm.